Welcome to Roanoke County Business Partners. On today's show, Roanoke County's Director of Economic Development, Jill Luke, gives us a snapshot of what happened in the county in 2017. We speak with Pete Peters in the town of Vinton to learn about what's been going on in the town and what's to come in 2018. Finally, we attend the grand opening of the Lewis Gale Cave Spring ER, a standalone ER which is the first of its kind in the Roanoke Valley. Thanks for joining us. I'm here with Jill Luke, the Director of Economic Development for Roanoke County, and we're going to talk a little bit about what's been going on in the county in 2017. Jill, thanks for joining me. Thank you. 2017 has been a really busy year in the county. We've got lots going on with county-led projects and then some other new announcements in the area. What The first kind of thing that we kicked off at the beginning of the year was the 419 study, which concluded. Tell our viewers about that. So we spent the entire year engaging the business community, citizens, residents, interested parties in the 419 plan uh, redevelopment project for the 419 Town Center. Um, we've completed that process now. The plan is done and we're getting ready to take that to the Board of Supervisors for approval and that'll probably go sometime after the first of the year in the first quarter or so. We're very excited about that. We're now meeting with developers and interested uh, property owners to, to begin the process of redeveloping that corridor. And I know we had a recent announcement in that, in that 419 area which was exciting for our per first project to kick off there and we've had lots of other projects. What were some of those big announcements for the year? Sure, we had the Lewis Gale Emergency Room Center announce a redevelopment project along the 419 corridor. Uh, that was an exciting new initiative that Lewis Gale launched in the last year. Uh, it's a $12 million project and it, they're now open for business so we're excited to see the redevelopment efforts starting to work. Mm -hmm. um, there are other projects throughout the county that we've been working on. Uh, the new True by Hilton Hotel that's off of Plantation Road near Gander Mountain. That's under construction and scheduled to be opened uh, sometime next summer. And we're also working with Valley Star Credit Union when they announced their new project on Buck Mountain Road and a number of others that have been in the works for a while. And then another project that's kind of been in the works for a little while is the Woodhaven Road project that is a, a local mm -hmm. collaboration. Tell our viewers what's been going on with that project. So the uh, multiple governments in Roanoke Valley came together and bought this property on Woodhaven Road. It is the gateway property into the Roanoke Valley. It was Roanoke City, Roanoke County, and the City of Salem are all owners in the, in the development. Uh, we have been master planning the project, looking at the property and deciding how we want to move forward with rezoning after the first of the year and putting covenants on the property so that we can have appropriate development uh, for the, the entire region. So we are in process of moving that forward and we'll probably hear more after the first of the year. And then Explore Park is something we've also been talking about for a little while and there was a master plan that was in the works last year and that's kind of started to evolve. What what's been going on and what can our viewers learn about that project? Explore Park is really exciting. We issued four RFPs in the last year for cabins and campgrounds and tree houses and yurts and aerial adventure courses, um, convenience store operators and events planners and we're in the process of negotiating lease agreements now with new vendors at that property so um, again after the first of the year we're going to have lots of new announcements for the community to get excited about, especially with Explore's um, new interest that's, that the community has in making that a, a premier tourist destination. Um, the Board of Supervisors also approved $4.4 in new infrastructure improvements, so that's going to pave the way for new vendors to become interested in setting up uh, operation here. And on the infrastructure note, the Broadband Authority just completed miles of fiber in the county. Tell our viewers about that project. Well, Roanoke County just completed a 25-mile fiber build throughout the county in our key commercial corridors, and uh, that's now done. So we're open for business in the county for anyone who's interested in tapping into the services of the broadband uh, capability that we have. So it's basically about speed and reliability, redundancy to the community and to the businesses that we're trying to serve on this corridor. That means we now have about 80 miles of fiber throughout the Roanoke Valley for anyone who needs access to high-speed capability. Well, there's definitely a lot going on in the county, and we know 
it's been a really busy year for the county and everyone in it, so thanks for giving our viewers just a snapshot of what's been going on. Mm -hmm. And if you all would like to learn more about what's been going on, visit our website at yesroanoke.org. Thanks for joining us. The Gauntlet is back, calling all new and existing entrepreneurs in Roanoke County, Botetourt County, and the Allegheny Highlands. Virginia's largest business program and competition is back. Register now at the advancementfoundation.org for the Gauntlet business program and competition starting in February 2018. During the gauntlet, entrepreneurs will participate in 10 weeks of business classes, including business plan development, entrepreneurship, marketing and advertising, budgeting and bookkeeping, networking, and much more. At the end of the program, compete for a total prize pool of $250,000 in cash and in-kind prizes. If you're waiting for a sign, this is it. Check out the advancementfoundation.org for more information. Welcome. I have with me Pete Peters. He's the Assistant Town Manager and Director of Economic Development for the Town of Vinton. Pete, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Now, w what we're here to talk about today is what's been going on in the Town of Vinton uh, in this past year, in 2017. Uh, 2017 was another busy year for the town. Um, we opened, uh, completed the renovations to the Vinton Farmers Market and yeah, performance and that came stage. Out great. Yeah, it does. It really created a kind of a new energy, a new vibe there, and, and we're certainly taking advantage of that new space. So we more than doubled the size of the stage, and we actually tripled the number of events we held in the town this year with the different festivals and fairs and concerts. Yeah, you can tell there's a whole new vibe in downtown. We, although Twin Creeks was the year before, between Twin Creeks and the stage, there's a whole new vibe downtown, so yeah, that's great. Quite a lot of energy on the sidewalks in the evenings and the weekends. So, right. so yeah, different feel than we've experienced in the town in quite a while. Yeah, it's, it's definitely fun to get down there. We go down down there with our kids. And what else have you had going on? Uh, well, the Rolney Cook Loft Apartments actually opened in July. That was a, 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 a about a year-long renovation process to remodel that 100-year-old school into uh, really nice apartments. And, and when they open the doors, they're actually fully occupied, which is right. pretty, pretty unique. That's amazing. And that's a project that we kind of teamed up with you as Ro Roanoke County and the town. And what I can't get over is the view from the top floor there. It's just a spectacular. It's got great views of the entire Roanoke Valley and McAfee's Knob off in the, in the background, so right. it's it's really a gorgeous uh, location. Yeah, it's great. That was a fun project. Um, uh, and anything else you want to share about 2017? Well, a lot of uh, work as far as planning went in 2017 that we yet to really re realize the results. So just a lot of activity and setting the stage for 2018. Right. So I can think of some projects myself, or or, or I can think of some properties in Vinton that if I was a, a, a citizen of Vinton, I'd say, well, what's going on with these other properties. Um, we want to share that? Well, the old library, which was a Roanoke County facility, um, actually was purchased by the owner of the McAdoo's restaurant chain. So they are under renovations and expect to open late this winter, early this spring. So we have that to look forward to. I think that's probably one of the most anticipated projects I know of. Uh, people just keep talking about it. So yeah. we've got that one. And what else do you have? Uh, the William Bird, the former William Bird High School. That project uh, is set to open later uh, 2018 in the summer. Mm -hmm. And that's expected to have 20, or excuse me, 20 22 bedrooms and um, in total of 90 apartments um, available for lease late summer. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. That's another one where we got a chance to partner up and, and uh, they'll be opening, you know, 2018 um, and, and earlier, I think, than they had expected. Um, and then, I, you know, I, I'll tell you, Gish Mill, is there something going to happen with that? Or Yeah, the property known as Gish's Mill, some uh, know it as Holdren's Country Store. Um, that's the founding structure of Vinton. That was the original property that kind of based the operations of yeah. Vinton and got its start. Uh, we've been doing a lot of planning for that uh, pr project, and we hope to initiate an RFP first of the year to hopefully encourage private developers to take interest in that site. And our, our ideas are to do a mixed-use development there and really uh, try to engage some activity and put that property back on the tax rolls. Right. And if I'm not mistaken, that that's quite a bit for this upcoming year. Anything else you've got on the your plate? or We're actually undertaking a housing rehabilitation study as well. So we're looking at some downtown living opportunities with single family homes and apartments that are above our storefronts and really trying to do some improvements there, rehab and, and provide those spaces, make them affordable properties uh, for new families or, or uh, young uh, single folks who would looking to establish some roots. Great. 
Well, I think, you know, you're in your second year with the town, and, and i got to say, I see a lot of movement, a lot of things. I can't help but, but uh, believe that it's got a lot to do with you, but, but it's a team effort, too. I mean, you've got a whole staff. You don't have your own staff, but you've got the entire town and the county behind you, so we appreciate everything that you've been doing, and you've really helped to bring Vinton uh, up to where it's it always should be. Well, I appreciate the compliment, but it absolutely is a team. And if it wasn't for the partnership with Roanoke County, most of the projects that we're currently working on wouldn't have been realized without uh, the efforts of Roanoke County and particularly the Economic Development Office. Okay, great. Well, Pete, thank you for joining us and thank you for joining us. Hi, this is Brad Betcher with the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport, asking that when your travel plans require air service, that you consider flying from home, your Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport, your gateway to the world. We offer nonstop service to eight destinations, Atlanta, Chicago O'Hare, Philadelphia, Washington Dulles, Charlotte, and New York LaGuardia, in addition to Orlando and Tampa St. Pete, with over 450 destinations just one connection away. We are local, convenient, there aren't long security lines and no exhausting drive home. We employ people from the Roanoke Valley. Whether you're traveling for business or pleasure, the world is at your doorstep and you create demand when you fly from ROA. This has recently created more flights, competitive fares. In January, we added a second nonstop flight to New York LaGuardia. In April, Philadelphia service will be upgraded to regional jet service and a late flight from Charlotte will return. Thank you, Roanoke Valley, for your support. Fly local, fly from home, fly ROA. Information and details available at flyroa.com. We are here at the Lewis Gale Cave Spring ER with Dr. Pasternak, the medical director for the Salem ER facility and the ER facility here. Thank you so much for joining Thank you. us. Welcome. This is a brand new facility. Tell our viewers a little bit about it. You're right, brand spanking new, brand spanking equipment. We've got eight exam rooms, uh, all private. We've got all the latest and greatest equipment, CT scan, fully functioning lab, x-ray, ultrasound, pharmacy. We are a full functioning emergency department. And so how is this facility different than the ER in Salem? It really is no difference. It's just physically separated. Uh, but what we'll have here is an ambulance stationed 24-7. And if someone needs to be admitted to the hospital, we'll be ready to transport them to their hospital of choice when, if they need to uh, come in for a few days or so. And this is a really important facility for Lewis Gale. Tell our viewers why this is so important, the standalone facility. Well, I, I think there's a couple reasons. It's actually probably important for the entire valley because if anybody's been in the emergency department recently and had to wait, it's because both emergency departments uh, at Carillion and Lewis Gale in Salem were very crowded, were very busy, and you know, we're doing our best to take care of people and patients. But this is one more place that if people feel they have an emergency, they can come and get the complete emergency care they need. So this facility is right in the 419 area, which is a really crowded area for the valley and for you all. Talk about the location and why this was important right here on Electric and Ogden. Well, I think uh, there's a couple of reasons. I mean, it's a high traffic area, and that's number one. I mean, there's a lot of people come through this area. I, I think it's kind of a nice central location that a large part of the population can get to. And, uh, I, I, you know, there's some plans from Roanoke County of doing a lot of things in this area with Tanglewood and development, so this is perfect to have, you know, state-of-the-art medical care right in their backyard. Right, and 419 study area was just, you know, we did a study this past year, and there's a lot of movement and a lot of effort to revitalize this area, and this is the first project, so we're really excited mm -hmm. about this facility. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And so if people are curious about what you all do, is there a website they can visit? Uh, I'm sure if you just go to the Lewis Gale website, it'll have, it, there'll be links there. But you know, what I really want to emphasize to folks is just think of this as any other emergency department. It, it is no different team of nurses, board certified emergency medicine physicians. We can do everything here that we do in Salem. So it's, it's ready to roll. Well, we are so happy to have this facility. Thank you so much for talking You're with welcome. us. You're welcome. And thank you all for joining us. Is your business puzzled as to how you can attract, train, and most importantly, retain workers? 
Are you looking to people who are committed to having a career and not just a job? The Virginia Registered Apprenticeship Program can help you solve this puzzle. The Virginia Registered Apprenticeship is a training system that produces highly skilled employees to meet the demands of employers through a combination of on-the-job training and classroom instruction. The program can be customized to meet the needs of most any business in all occupations. The Virginia Registered Apprenticeship Program currently meets the needs of approximately 2,000 employers throughout Virginia, and your business can participate in the program too. To get started on solving your employment puzzle, contact Diana Lyons, Apprenticeship Consultant for the Department of Labor and Industry, Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you for joining us for Roanoke County Business Partners. If you have any questions about this show, want to start a business, or need business assistance, please contact the Roanoke County Economic Development Office at 540-772-2069 or email jbrenchick at roanokecountyva.gov and you can always visit our website at yesroanoke.org.